welcome to Beyond the Microwave. I'm tonight's chef Tweedledee, and I'll be making my favorite Mexican dip. So my ingredients are two cans of Frito-Lay brand jalapeno cheddar, two cans of refried beans, preferably Taco Bell beans, but this is all they had, and two cans of red enchilada sauce and one big packet of lean beef stew. And to make sure you cut the stew up small because some people can't handle big meat in their mouth. Only two rules to be featured on Beyond the Microwave. One, you must be a member of the Dirty Biker Dating website where discount code Tweedle gets you 50% off. Only good for the next month. And the second one, all Beyond the Microwaves go through the process to have his stamp of approval. If you do not make that cut and you upload it, you may get a knock on the door. So don't be that guy. All right. <clears throat> now that your meat's done, the refried beans, the enchilada sauce, and the cheese, and give it a good stir. Get this all chopped up nice. Now that that's all stirred up, so dump your meat in and give it another stir. All right, now that all the ingredients together, leave that bad boy on fire for about 10, 15 minutes. And then it'll be ready to eat. Mmm, yeah. This is some good stuff right here. Make you want to walk over there and slap your mama. Mm-hmm. All right, now that that's cooked for about 10, 15 minutes, time to eat. Mm-hmm. Pour right over everything. Mmm, look at that. And I made a mess. All right. Now that that's done, the last thing I do. After I got my chips in and my stuff on, I threw me a little bit of a uh, sour cream in that joint. And a couple Taco Bell fire sauce packets. Just for added heat. Now, that's your meal beyond the microwave. Next week, I have no idea who it is. So until then, get out there, get away from that microwave food, and start cooking something for yourself.